Stay on the Fish is about a robotic future where there aren't a lot of organic materials. The story for the day is that Dr. Xerox team over at NMTAR has finally finished the development on their Robo Lobster. I got my first video camera from my parents for Christmas when I was 10, and I did cry when I opened it. <laughs> and um, from there, it pretty much didn't leave my hand. The first image I had in my mind of the film was that one of all the scientists gathered around the person with the fishbowl peering in. I conceptualized this project last January. I work under deadline, so when I heard that NCTV had a production grant, I was really interested in getting it. <laughs> um, and so I sort of did the process backwards. I used the grant application as a kickoff to do some pre-production for this film. It is an environmental movie at heart. Uh, even though goldfish don't go in the sea, I hope you can Overlook that. <laughs> I read an article about how um, fish might be extinct by 2070, and I thought that couldn't possibly be true, but I've talked to some scientists, and um, with the overfishing and with the acidification of the ocean, it might just be true. And so I decided to take inspiration from that and inspiration from my grandparents who are writers and naturalists. I've hooked up with the Connecticut River Watershed Council um, to uh, I've, I've given them a little bit of money from the film because I really believe in their cause. They're a really amazing organization. My favorite part of the creative process was um, is getting all of my friends together and because I have really talented friends by my side and having playing to their strength and having them all come together to make one product. It was an amazing process. NCTV was so supportive. They gave me the grant and I really believe in paying artists so all, pretty much all of the money for the film went directly to the people who did titles, who did music. I really love film because it's so collaborative that I get to show off all of my friends art. I feel like a curator. <laughs> Bring me down to the river, lay me 